I'm Georgia Hupfell, she or hers. I'm from New York City. I'm a junior at Vassar. Welcome to my closet. How would you describe your style? Uh, I feel like I always try to dress kind of like a kid. Like I either wear like really fluffy dresses or like overalls and like a big t-shirt or something. Um, like when I first started sewing, the first thing I made was one of those like baby rompers, you know, they have, it's like the diaper, it's just like a box. So I would say that that is like my go-to. And what are you wearing today? Um, this is from Etsy actually, as is my mask. These overalls I think are actually from Brandy Melville, <laughs> which is great. Uh, and then just docks, faster staple I feel like, so. What are your favorite brands and places to shop? Uh, I feel like a lot of Astro people, I get a lot of my stuff on Depop. Uh, and then some of my favorite brands are like Doen and like Rouge, all these like places, but they're really expensive. <laughs> so that's also a reason why I started sewing so that I could like fake those things because I don't have $500 to spend on a dress. Okay, so speaking of sewing, what are some of your favorite pieces that you've made? This is definitely my favorite piece, this jacket. It was the hardest thing to make. Um, yeah, so I took all these individual squares from Liberty of London and sewed them together, which took me a couple of weeks. And then I got the corduroy from Etsy and the batting from Pearl and Soho, and then went about quilting it, which also took a really long time. It was really hard, uh, but I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, yeah, this is definitely the thing I'm most proud of because it was so labor intensive and took so long. Whereas most of the other things I make, I really like to like finish things the second I start them. Like I'm very instant gratification kind of person. So this was definitely a learning moment for me. And it's cozy. This dress is a dress that I copied from Doen, the brand I was talking about earlier. Um, they just make like really cute little baby dresses and it's just so comfortable. I love this square neckline. Um, this was also kind of hard to make because of the square neckline. It's like a bit of a weird pattern. Um, but I really, really love this dress. This is one of my favorite things to wear. The fabric is from Liberty of London as well. I'm like obsessed with their floral prints. It's also like the softest cotton and I love it. It goes really cute with everything. What's your go-to outfit for attending an in-person class? Yeah, so I think in quarantine, I got so used to wearing pajamas that then dressing up was always so exciting. So I try not to take that for granted now with in-person classes. So again, this is like one of my favorite dresses. So I definitely love to wear that. And then this jacket, I think just makes it very studious and warm. And I think the colors look really cute together. And then I'd probably wear it with like some boots. I have some black fry campus boots that I think look really cute with it. Very 70s vibe. So how do you think your style influences the people around you? Uh, I would say that I'm more influenced by other people than I am influencing people. I love to like go around campus and see what people are wearing. Um, I would say that I'm really influenced by like a lot of my friends and my family, like my mom dresses so amazingly and it, it kills me. Um, I would say that in terms of me influencing other people, the closest I would get to that is like if I sew something and it looks better on my friends, then I will give that to them. So if that's influencing them. Is there a greater impact you'd like to make with picking out clothing? Um, I think that with my sewing, I would really like to start using like sustainably sourced fabrics more often. Um, that's something I'm interested in, especially because the environment is dying. <laughs> um, and then also just sewing my own clothes I really like because then I don't really have to participate as much in like a corporate system where like workers are exploited and companies are just bad to people who work for them. So that's definitely a plus for me in terms of learning to sew. Okay, Georgia, thank you so much for sharing your closet. Um, do you see your sewing going anywhere as a business venture? Uh, hopefully, I'm starting to launch a website in the end of December, beginning of January, which will have crocheted bags, crocheted mug cozies, hopefully some other crocheted things, and then also have some dresses and tops, and maybe even quilted jackets, depends. And you can follow me on Instagram for updates on that, which will be Georgia Hupfell.